Hey YouTube, it's B. It's been a minute, but I am back with another video. Okay. Okay, so today we are going to be talking about um, trucks, trucking. Um, I went to a trucking auction called Taylor and Martin um, and hosted in Hampton, Georgia uh, this March of 2020. Um, so I'm just going to share my experience with you guys just to let you know um, how I think it went. Um, and, you know, for anyone that's interested in trucking or anything like that, this video is for you. So um, basically this auction is... Um, auctioning off truck, uh, semi trucks, um, reefers, uh, dry van trailers. Um, they had other kind of work trucks as well, and um, things like that. So, um, I think it was a good experience overall. Um, it was my first time being at an auction, so you know it was kind of cool to be in a, you know in the building. Uh, we went on a it was a weekday I think it was a Thursday and um, it was the weather was just terrible it was so bad and if you ever been to Georgia in certain parts they have like this red clay and um, so it was raining and of course it was like red muddy clay just everywhere and of course we weren't prepared so we was there and um, we went early so basically how they have it set out is um, let's say the auction is on a Friday, right? So the auction is on a Friday and, um, you get like two or three days to come prior to the actual day to check out the trucks, um, to inspect the trucks, do whatever it is you need to do, get information, um, on the trucks, um, to know what you're bidding on. So, um, we went there probably, I think it was a day early, um, and we looked around, of course, we was just so, got our shoes just, oh, just so messed up. But however, um, we had to kind of stick it out because we were there for a purpose. I know, look at shoes. I know. So we, um, are looking at the trucks. Uh, of course, we, it was just, you know, me and my mom, two women. So, you know, two minority women at, at that. And, um... It was it was different. We didn't see no one else there like us, um, so it, it was definitely a blessing to be put in the position to um, to even be in the building for the reason that we were there. Okay, so. Let me remind you, you cannot drive these trucks. They don't move. You can't move them. You can crank them up. You can get all inside and inspect the inside. You can look at, um, they had the, what was it called? The maintenance sheets. They had maintenance sheets um, attached to each truck and it lets you know everything that they have done to the truck. Uh, for, at least from the pre previous owner. So most of the, of the trucks were from either like Walmart trucks, um, Penske rentals. They had some, uh, some trucks from a company that just filed bankruptcy. Um, so they were, uh, trucks from well-known, uh, companies uh so we were kind of confident to say the least that these trucks have been kept up because um of these companies that own them prior the day of the auction is as you will see um just little clips that i put that i was able to kind of on the low record so you will see the auctioneer dude um you know doing his thing or whatever and then you know, you just kind of go with the flow. You just be. Do your homework. So you have to know what you're getting yourself into. So once, once the number was called, it's it's up to you. If you're gonna be. Okay, so something to uh, take note of is when you're going to these uh, these auctions, um, you have to have cash. If not cash, you have to have a cashier's check. If not a cashier's check, you have to have some kind of document uh, with the letterhead on it from another, from, I guess, let's, let's say if, if it's a loan, um, 
you have to have you have to have all your all your ducks in a row before you even get there. Otherwise, you will not be able to participate in the auction. So, um, I think it was like a five thousand dollar deposit to enter into the auction, and that uh, that deposit will go towards anything that you purchase. Um, and if you don't purchase anything, of course, your five thousand dollars will be refunded back to you. The same way you pay. It was people there with some cash cash i mean uh let's say if a truck was going for eighteen thousand, um there were some people getting like five six seven at a time uh so you really have to come prepare you have to have a budget stick with your budget um if whatever that may be you know do that you should also do your homework on um, the type of engines on the mileage, whatever that is you're looking for. You should do your homework on just the trucking industry period. But we were there, we did our thing and, um, we was able to have, you know, have a good experience and we moved on. Okay. Baby, huh?